Hello monkey fans, monkey man here, hope you're all well. Well, I've got something a little bit different for you today because it's not music. And some of you might say, well, what you normally do isn't music either, but we'll gloss over that. I'm speaking out to football fans, soccer fans for all my overseas followers, uh, and particularly Liverpool fans. Now, I know you're going to be... Uh, deeply, deeply concerned and deeply worried because your Lord and Saviour, Jurgen Klopp, a few weeks ago decided that he that he was going to chuck it all in and go and retire and live by the coast or something like that. But anyway, I've got your back. Don't worry. I'm going to look after you. As soon as I heard the news that Jurgen was leaving, I got straight on my championship manager, started managing Liverpool I'm going to prove to you that I am the man to take over from Jurgen Klopp. So I'm going to caveat a few things here uh, when I signed on to to do this. Um, Virgil van Dijk, when Jurgen left, decided that he was going to run down his contract, um, which I wasn't happy about. You know, I had words with him, but he, he wasn't going to change his mind. Uh, so you, so Van Dijk is no longer a Liverpool player, as far as I'm concerned, because uh, you know the the Saudi Arabian league came in for him, uh, and we're prepared to pay me an awful lot of money for him. So I took that, um, and I bought a forward, uh, because um, Salah's going to do the same. Anyway. Um, so anyway, we we went up to Christmas and got up to the uh, got up to the the new uh, the new transfer window, and uh, because it was doing so well, John Henry, good man that he is, decided to give me a bit more money. So I bought a high class defender to replace um, to replace Van Dyke. Sorry, he's gone out of my brain now. He doesn't play for me anymore. He doesn't. He's gone right out of my brain. Uh, so when Salah goes, which I'm pretty sure he's going to go at the end of the season, um, he I've I've already got a replacement for him in Vincent Omisen, um, and I bought a defender to replace uh, Van Dijk, whose name I can't remember or pronounce. Starts with two R's anyway, uh, but he's a good player. So if we have a look at the stats. You will see I am a little bit behind where where Jurgen is. But and you might say, Oh god, you know, you think you, you think you're up for it and you're that part look at my last result. I smashed Manchester City at the Etihad Stadium. We murdered them. Murdered them. So once the team got used to my ways of playing and, and not Jurgen's, they've really started to get on a roll. Not only that, we've, we're still in the UEFA Cup, we're still in the FA Cup, and we're in the final of the Carabao Cup. So we're challenging for four trophies. So, people, I really think that I am the man to replace Jurgen Klopp. So... As you can see, we're up to the season where it is now. Um, and I'm going to follow the season through to the end. And we'll see where I end up compared to Jürgen. And if I surpass Jürgen, then I'm going to be on the phone to John Henry, the real John Henry, straight away and say, Oi, I'll do it. Anyway. That's enough for today. Uh, also, if I, I'm also working on a reggae ska version of You'll Never Walk Alone, so that could be interesting as well. Anyway, thanks for your time, folks, and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.